Hi damsels, it's Rowan here. So today's video is going to be a haul. I'm gonna be sharing with you guys some things that I've bought in the past couple weeks. Most of it is going to be apparel, but there are two things that I wanna share with you that are not apparel, but they are recent purchases and I'm just gonna literally just jumble them into this video because I want to show them to you guys and I'm like really excited about it. As you all know, I did go to Texas and I visited Syria for a couple days and on my trip there, I did go to Box Lunch. I did spend quite a bit of money in that shop. I bought myself five different shirts that I'm going to be sharing with you guys today. I'm also going to be sharing with you guys some things that I bought from Primark before I went to Syria's house. I'm going to keep the last things a surprise and you guys will just have to wait and see like what it is that I spent my money on because you know just spending my money on all the things all right so the first thing I'm gonna share with you guys is not Disney related but it is Harry Potter related so as we were walking into the store I did see some spirit jerseys that they had that were related to the houses in Hogwarts so Gryffindor, Ravenclaw, Hufflepuff, and Slytherin. I ended up picking Slytherin because I just like the way that it looked and I think I'm a Slytherin at heart even though I have been put into Gryffindor. So I'm like half Gryffindor, half Slytherin but I did like the way the Slytherin one looked so I went ahead and bought that one. I think I'm gonna go back and buy the Ravenclaw one though because I loved the blue color that it was. So I'm probably gonna go back and buy the Ravenclaw one. So this is what it looks like. I've actually already worn this to work. It has a snake on it and it says S for Slytherin. The back is really the best part because across the back it says Slytherin. Again, it's a spirit jersey. It's like a very dark green color. I just think it looks really nice on and I ended up buying it. It was pretty expensive. I think it was like $35.00. So yes, they are a little bit pricey. Another thing I picked up was this shirt. Again, I've already worn this. I actually wore this at Sirius House in Texas and it is all of Ariel's sisters, all six of them. She's the seventh daughter. I don't know all their names. So if you know all their names, kudos to you, but I don't. It says, support your sisters. It's just very, very colorful. It has all of her sisters on it. And I like the way that it looked. And it was like, when I was in the store, I think it was like buy one, get one 50% off. So I ended up getting two sets of two shirts. Another shirt that I ended up buying was this villain shirt. It has all of the villains in profile. So there's Cruella, J uh, Jafar, Yago, TikTok, I think it's TikTok. Uh, Maleficent as a Dragon, Scar, Flotsam and Jetsam, Ursula, Gaston, Captain Hook, and the Evil Queen. It also does have her apple and, um, Panic. That's Panic, not Pain. But the reason why I picked this up was because he was on it. And you guys know I love Hades. And this was $28.90. Their shirts are really expensive, so I definitely would wait until they're having a sale. But yeah, I just wanted to show you guys this shirt. Very appropriate for uh, the fall season because Halloween's coming up and we know villains are a part of Halloween. So yeah, that's another shirt that I ended up picking up. Another shirt that I ended up picking up was Sailor Moon related. So I did want the Sailor Moon one. Um, basically they had a bunch of shirts that had all the Sailor Scouts. So Sailor Moon had a shirt, Sailor Mars had a shirt, Sailor Mercury, Mercury Venus and Jupiter and so on. And basically it was them and it was like a color. So Sailor Moon was pink. I was looking for that one, but they only had 2XL and I'm not a 2XL size, so I wasn't able to get it. Mars is my favorite, but I didn't really like the way that hers looked. So I ended up picking up Jupiter. So I really like this color. It's a Sailor Jupiter. It has her on it. She looks super cute. I ended up picking this one up as well. Again, $28.90. It is a little bit on the steeper side, but again, I was buying one shirt and getting the other one for half off, so I thought it was worth it, at the time at least. So basically I had all those four shirts in my hand, I was waiting in line to pay, and then all of a sudden I see a worker there, and she was wearing this shirt, and I don't know if you guys know, but I'm obsessed with mochi. So it was this shirt, it says mochi, it has all of the different flavors of mochi. So when I saw her wearing this, I was like, are you kidding me? I need this shirt. And at that moment, I didn't want to return anything that I had already picked up. So I ended up picking this one as well. So it has green tea, chocolate, mango, cookies and cream, strawberry, matcha, plum wine, vanilla, and mint chip mochi. 
I don't know if you guys like mochi. It is my guilty pleasure. When I'm having a little bit of a cheat day off of keto, I will have mochi because it is so, so good. So that is what I ended up buying in box lunch when I was with Saria. So now moving on to the things I bought in Primark. So we do have a Primark at our local mall. It's not the same as in the UK though, just putting that out there because I feel like UK Primarks have such better merchandise than the ones in the state. I don't know why. They do have a Disney section. They had like a Mickey Mouse section or Mickey Mouse sale going on when I was there and there were some things that I really liked so I ended up picking it up. So I'll start with what I got Sophie. So as you all know, we are going to Disney World. I am planning our outfits for that trip and I ended up seeing this and I was like, she needs to wear this in Disney. And it is these cute, it's a cute pinafore, like a jean pinafore and it has Minnie Mouse all over it. I did pick up uh, one for Kala and Daylin, Saria's daughters, uh, when I went to Texas. That's why I was there. I was trying to figure out what I should get them, and I did see this. So I ended up buying one for Daylin and Kala, and now Sophie has one. So if they ever meet, they can all match with each other. But I just really liked the way that this looked. A lot of the mothers I saw were picking this up for their children, and it wasn't even that much. This retailed for $17. I don't think it's that much, especially since it's Disney. And this is like very, very good quality. So I had to pick that up for Sophie. Okay, so now going to what I bought for myself. So like I said, they had a lot of Mickey themed things. And because I guess winter is coming up, I mean, we're still in September, but they do like to put out their merchandise like for future seasons. So they had a lot of winter stuff. I didn't know really how long they were gonna have this on sale or like out on display so I didn't want to chance it and I bought these for myself so these are mostly winter items I mean you could probably wear them in the fall as well so the first one is this Mickey sweater it's white it has Mickey Mouse all over it he's like upside down sideways I don't know I just thought that this looked really cute I feel like it would look cute um, in Disney like because we are gonna be going when it's a little bit colder so this would look cute like to wear um, at night when it gets a little bit chillier in Disney this retailed for $12, which is insane to me. I did get it a little bit smaller because I wanted it a little bit tighter on me, so I got it in a medium. But yeah, I'm like really excited that I have this cute Mickey sweater. I think it's gonna look so cute on. Another item that I did get, again, that is winter related. You can't, I can't really wear this right now um, because it's a lot, I guess, fuzzier, a lot warmer. And it is this like, um, I don't even know how to explain it, but it's a sweater. Wow. I'm an idiot. When I saw this on display, it was in the Mickey section. I saw it like this. So I was like, oh, that's so cool. It has like these nice like confetti colors. And I literally just saw that there's Mickey in the front. So that's why this is a Mickey sweater. Because at first I was like, wait, how is this Mickey related? So it has Mickey, I guess laughing co covering his eyes he's laughing here and then just like Mickey's face again this is gonna keep me super warm it is a turtleneck so I could probably wear this to work because it's not it doesn't scream Disney it's very cute and it's very very soft like I can tell this gonna be very comfortable this retailed for $20 their merchandise is not that expensive especially because it's Disney like we all know Disney merchandise is hella expensive. And last but not least, I saw this little, I guess, hoodie cover-up sweater. I don't know what the correct terminology is for this. And it was on the mannequin, and it looked really cute on a mannequin, so I was like, it'll probably look cute on me too. And it's a mini sweater. It says mini, and it has a bunch of... Uh, poses that she's doing just three minutes doing poses and the best part about this was like a black sweater But the best part about this is the hood Look at this look at that hood. It has like a mini bow. It has the mini ears I do have to say that I'm a little worried at what might happen to this bow It does seem like it's not sewed on too tight, but um, it's fine My mom's a seamstress. So if it falls off like I'll just have her put it back together. I thought this was so super, super cute. I feel like it's a little bit more on the crop top side. Like look at the way that it's cut. It's not, I don't know. Like I feel like it's like um, the cut on the bottom is like crop top cut. I'm not making any sense. So I feel like it's gonna be a little bit 
higher than a normal sweater. It'll probably be like maybe mid stomach or a little bit under the belly button. Yeah, I thought it was cute. Again, I could take this with me to Disney World. All right, so that was the apparel portion of the video. The next portion is figurines. <laughs> surprise, surprise. Did you guys really think that it was going to be anything else? I think like two, th two months ago, I was in Hallmark. I told you guys the story. When I bought the Ariel figurine that you guys have seen in the Little Mermaid video, when I bought that, they had given me a 40% off coupon for a future item that I could use in September. I ended up getting two coupons of that value. So I knew that I wanted to use them on figurines in September. So I did end up going the other day and I did pick up two figurines because I had two coupons and I couldn't pass it up. I was smart about it though. I did check to see what the price of it was on Amazon after I used the coupon. So if even after I used the coupon, it was still expensive, I wouldn't have bought it and I would have just waited and got it on Amazon. But it was actually less expensive in Hallmark than it was in Amazon after I used the coupon. So that is why I, um, end up splurging a little bit. So the first one I'm going to show you is one that I've had my eye on. I wasn't planning on buying it, but I did see it in Hallmark and uh, you know, the, the rest is history. You know this about me already. Oh my God. I keep forgetting like what these collections are called, but it's like where he takes a princess or a scene from a princess movie and basically like the figurine is all in white except like certain pigmented colors. I wanted this one when I first saw it come out. And I've actually seen this like fully in like full color and I would have loved to buy it in full color because I love this scene in, the, in this movie. And that is the scene in Cinderella when the mice are uh, making her her pink dress and she puts on her pink dress. So this is what she looks like. Like I said, it is mostly a mute white color and then there's like little bits of color coming through. This one is actually a lot more muted than the other ones. Like I know I've seen the bell one, like you could see like blue in there. You can only see like a tiny bit of the orange on the pumpkin, a tiny bit of green on the leaves, and like um, a little bit of brown on Jack-Jack, Gus, and Mary. There's just like a tiny bit of pink on her dress. I do think that her facial expression is a little weird, but I was talking to Beth from the Collectioners Club and she's like, I think that's the expression of her being surprised or in awe of the dress that the mice made her. And I was like, that actually makes a lot of sense. She looks very cute. Of course, her blue eyes are definitely shining through. Her red lipstick is shining through as well. You can see like the pearl necklace. I don't know. I really liked the way that this looked and I liked that it had pumpkins on it. You guys know I love pumpkins. So I knew I needed to buy this. So I picked this up <laughs> for myself. So the next figurine that I picked up is from the Disney Showcase collection and I've shared this in a video before. It was in my Jim Short figurine uh, collection video tag that I did with Beth and it was a figurine that I really, really, really wanted but didn't get because I can't spend all this money every five seconds. But I saw her there and I actually saw her there when I picked up the kiss the girl scene from Ariel but I told myself, let me wait because this one is a lot more expensive than the Ariel one. The Ariel one was like 50 something. This one full price was $75. So I couldn't buy $75. Um, and on Amazon, she's like 55 or 60. I ended up getting her from Hallmark for a lot cheaper than what she would have been if I had bought her full price. And that's Belle. So now I have the other half of my beast. You guys remember the beast that I adore and love. I would take him out right now, but he's in storage and I don't want to like go through that right now. So you're just going to have to just imagine what they would look like next to each other. I promise once the holidays are over, by the way, guys, do you like my backgrounds? I know like I haven't talked about it yet, but um, once the holidays are over, I am going to be making my beauty and the beast uh, section of the bookshelf again so they will be next to each other. I finally got her. She is the one that belongs with my beast. She is absolutely stunning, like absolutely gorgeous. The detailing on her dress, she's wearing red ruby earrings. She is absolutely stunning and I'm so happy that she is part of my collection. Damsel, 
girls, that is it for this video. I hope you like this little haul. Let me know what your favorite item was. You tend to buy stuff from Primark or Box Lunch. I know Box Lunch is mostly like t-shirt items, but I don't know, I really like their t-shirts and I'm probably gonna go back soon because I have a lot of box lunch money and I wanna spend it. Thank you, damsels, so much for watching. I hope wherever you are in this world, you are having a magical day. Mwah. Bye.